What's up everybody? I'm Sendai Mike. I'm a recording and mixing engineer. I work with vocalists. And today we're going to talk a little bit about pitch shifting. Performance shifting. And we're going to talk about the difference between those two effects. And when to use them. And the goal here is to give you, the artist, some tools to help you communicate your desired effect to your engineer. Most of y'all are probably familiar with pitch shifting. Pitch shifting, especially downwards, has become really popular in hip hop and rap music. And that sound originates from Houston with DJ Screw in the 90s. And what DJ Screw was doing was the classic Screwed and Chopped remix, where he was slowing down records. And mechanically, when you slow a sound down, the pitch gets deeper. And same goes for speeding it up. When you speed up a sound, the pitch goes up. Now that's how the physics of sound works, but now that we're recording in the box on computers, we have the ability to change the pitch without speeding up or slowing down the tempo. And that's how most pitch shifting is done today in commercial rap music. So understanding that difference between mechanically slowing something down and pitch shifting it down and being able to pitch shift without slowing it down, it's good to be intentional about how you use your pitch shifting. For example, I don't think it's always a good idea to pitch shift down or screw up hooks where there is high syllabic density or where there are a lot of words in a small amount of time because it just doesn't sound natural. It doesn't sound like the way DJ Screw would have screwed it. Now if you're just going for the aesthetic of having a deep monster voice or a demon voice, that's fine. But it's something to keep in mind. If you're going to intentionally use pitch shifted down vocals, do it in a place where you have longer drawn out syllables. It's going to sound better, it's going to sound more authentic. Now pitch shifting up on the other hand, used a lot less in rap and that's because it just sounds funny. It's used sometimes in skits, it's great for skits, I love putting pitch shifts on funny little interludes and that sort of thing. Maybe not the best for performances though. What I do hear being used for performances though is formant shifting. Now formant shifting is similar to pitch shifting, but the difference is when you formant shift audio, the note, and I mean the note like the note you would play on a keyboard, stays the same, but the tone gets deeper or higher depending on which direction you're formant shifting. So if you're formant shifting, you could sing a constant note and it would stay in key as you formant shift up and down. And, and formant shifting upwards especially has become a little more popular in recent years. And I think, you know, after Blonde came out, I've had a lot of requests for the Frank Ocean Nike's effect. And that is a formant shift where he is shifting upwards. And you want to use the formant shift when you're singing and pitch shifting would throw the singing off key. So formant shifting is great when you're singing and you don't want to, and you want a vocal effect that's going to be either higher or lower, but doing so by traditionally pitch shifting would throw your notes off from the song. I hope that made sense. Um, if you have any questions about formant shifting versus pitch shifting, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Be well.